Are you having problems with high DHEA, sulfate, or low DHEA levels? Maybe you're wondering what the relationship is between DHEA and DHEA sulfate. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, I'm going to be answering a question I got about what does it mean to be low in DHEA and normal in DHEA sulfate. So we're going to look at the relationship between these two molecules and the enzymes involved and some of the things that might be going on when you have a low DHEA, but a normal DHEA sulfate. So if you have other questions about DHEA levels, high, low, et cetera, I think this might be helpful because it does look at another aspect of where the DHEA is coming from and where it goes to. So if you like this kind of information on health, nutrition, hormones, just trying to grasp a better understanding of your health, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It is not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or a medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of health and treatment success. If you need medical attention, don't delay in seeking that treatment. All right, well, let's look at the relationship between DHEA and DHEA sulfate. Okay, so what does it mean to be low in DHEA, but have a normal DHEA S level? So if you're not familiar, this diagram here kind of lays it out as well. DHEA S refers to DHEA sulfate and DHEA is the unconjugated form, which can then turn into the other sex hormones or steroids. So this is just a diagram kind of showing the relationship and the enzymes involved with the inner conversion of that. And so it's generally assumed that DHEA is readily converted into DHEA sulfate via these sulfation enzymes. They're referred to as salt enzymes or salt sulfotransferase enzymes. And so specifically, it's the SALT2A1 and the SALT2B1 that make the conversion from the unconjugated form to the conjugated form. So basically, this enzyme is slapping on a sulfate molecule. This one is taking it off. And you can see that sulfate here, and it's being exchanged for a different kind of molecule here, which we don't need to get into really. And it's generally assumed that these kind of go back and forth fairly readily. And then that DHEA and not DHEA sulfate can be used to make androstenedione, dione, which then goes on to make testosterone through, through this enzyme, and also can turn into estrone via the aromatase enzyme and the testosterone equally can be turned into estradiol through the same enzyme. So this process is thought to only come from DHEA, not DHEA sulfate. So this person's question was, what does it mean or what could the problem be if you're low here, but normal here? Well, one thing could be that this process is just sped up, either going in this direction or going in that direction. And that can happen when certain environmental, like inside your body, things are going on or this enzyme is sped up or genetically you can have an increased activity of this enzyme. And the same occurs here. So you can have in genetic alterations in this enzyme here, which by the way, that type of enzyme is referred to as sulfate enzyme. So all these things, all these enzymes can be controlled by genetics. And then of course there's environmental things that can also alter the speed at which these conversions are occurring. And one specific SNP was the RSID 1286-1247, and that was associated with lower sulfatase enzyme here, so that you get a buildup of this and maybe less of this. But since this level was normal and this level was low, it seems more likely that this is being sucked down here. If this was high, we could think maybe this there was a slowdown here, but in the case that this is normal and this is low, it seems like one of these is being sped up, either you're making more androgens in this direction or you're making more estrone or estradiol in this direction. So it's hard to say for sure what's going on in any specific scenario. Context is king when it comes to interpreting what's going on in any individual. So you do have to know what's going on. You know, are you having hormonal symptoms? Does it seem more androgenic? Does it seem more estrogen based? Those types of questions and answers will help understand what could be going on with the enzymes and you can kind of work backwards to understand what you can do to manipulate the enzymes in your favor so you're not having those symptoms. The elevation or deficiency in DHEA or DHEA sulfate may not be a problem depending on how high they are or low they are. So it really, really just depends on what's going on with your body. If you do have symptoms or problems, this could be a clue and you can work backwards to understand what's going on with the enzymes and that should help you understand what you can do to resolve some of the symptoms that you have going up. All right, that should give you a better understanding of the relationship between DHEA and DHEA sulfate, which should help you understand what 
it means when you have low DHEA but normal DHEA sulfate in similar questions like this. If you do have additional questions on this or confirmations, check out the article in the description or drop me a question in the comment section. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.